How's it going guys? This is Mark with AtTech. In this video, we're gonna show you how to connect to a server over SMB on iOS 13. So this is a brand new feature with iOS 13 and is first coming to the iPhone on beta two. And from here on out, you will be able to access servers locally and remotely on iOS. This is very similar to the same connect to server functionality we found in Finder for many, many years as far as macOS has been around. You've been able to connect to a server through Finder and now we can finally do something similar through the Files app on iOS. So how do we do it? How do we get going with connecting to a server? First thing we'll do is go to the Files app on the iPhone, we'll open that up, and then you'll want to go to the page where it says Browse. Now you may be on some sort of location, you wanna go back to Locations to take you to this tab right here. Next thing we'll do is connect to our server with the three dots up on the top, and then we'll choose Connect to Server. From there, we'll enter in our domain name of the server. Right now, this works with SMB, so you're gonna to want to make sure your server supports SMB connections, which is pretty much most servers. You can enter in a domain name or an IP address. I'm in my local network right now, so I will enter in an IP address. However, I do have a domain name set up and I want to use that. So, all I have to do is just enter in my IP address. You don't have to do SMB colon slash slash, if you don't fill that in, it will automatically do that for you. So I will type in my IP address of my server and we'll hit connect. From there, we'll choose our option on how do we want to log in, very similar to macOS. You can log in as a guest if your server supports that functionality, or you can log in as a registered user. My server doesn't support guests, so I will enter in my credentials and then we'll hit next. It will take a couple seconds, but from there, it should take you to the files section on your phone where you can see all the shared folders on your server. And as you can see under shared, it says 10.0.1.14, the IP address of my server. If we click on that, it will log us in right away. And we can see a list of the shared folders that are currently on the server that I have access to. For all of my use, I typically put files that I'm working on on the NAS section. So I click that, it will load up every single file and folder that I have on my server. And one great thing about this is that if you have multiple shared folders like I do, you don't have to add them individually like you would on Windows. You can just log in once and it will show all of the folders you have access to. Say for example, I want to download a certain file. How about this Ari vector graphic right here? I can tap it, it'll give me a preview, and I can perform other actions on it. I can click the share button and we can airdrop it. We can save it as an image to our phone or we can do a whole bunch of other things with the new share sheet in iOS 13. Now, one thing I failed to mention is that you can actually upload files to your server. You can't technically do it directly from the Files app. You have to have a iCloud or on my iPhone if you wanna to upload to the Files app, or you can do it in any other app like Photos. We can open up the server, we can make new folders, and we can upload stuff right here. It's actually pretty handy because I had to use apps previously to do this where now I can do it within the Photos app. I don't have to airdrop it to myself. I can put it directly on the server for the video I'm editing right now. So it's actually pretty simple and easy to do. And you no longer need the use for any other apps on your phone. Previously, I had to use other apps to access my servers over SMB. And like I said, this doesn't have to be just local servers. If you have a server that you connect to remotely for work or something, you can enter in that work group URL and it will then connect you to that remotely as well. Either way, it works really great. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. If you wanna see more videos about iOS 13 and betas and previews, let me know in the comment section as well. If you like this video, leave a like and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. This is Mark with AtTech and I will see you in the next one.